And also at 5.30, a convicted killer facing the death penalty, making his case in court. He wants to avoid being put to death. Peter Aspinu killed a gay couple back in their home back in 2010. And he said today that he does not regret what he did. Local 10's Leanne Morehong is live in Wilton Manors with an update on this story. Leanne. Well, he said some really disturbing things that seem to be foreshadowed by a letter that he penned to the judge back in March. Now, today was a Spencer hearing. It's sort of a last opportunity for Avzanu to say what he needs to say for there to be new evidence presented so the judge can take that into consideration before deciding whether to uphold the jury's recommendation of the death penalty or sentence him to life in prison. I plan on hurting people. Convicted murderer Peter Avzanu making startling statements in court. I wholeheartedly have nothing to lose and I'm going to take it out on everybody I can. In November 2017, Avzanu was convicted of killing Stephen Adams and his partner Kevin Powell inside their home in Wilton Manors back in 2010. In January, jurors recommended the death penalty. Is there a reason you just want to throw everything away and, and not have a life? I mean... What is, what is a life in prison? The judge can override and give a life or uphold the jury's recommendation and give death. Avzanu fired his public defender and has been representing himself. So this young man, an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, was subjected to incredible trauma. A special counsel was appointed to present mitigating evidence during today's Spencer hearing. The testimony that I presented suggested that some of this trauma that he suffered back then could have caused him to act inappropriately down the road. A psychologist who reviewed Avzanu's records regarding his upbringing testified today. But Mr. Avzanu refused to be interviewed by the doctor or cross-examine her in court. In March, Avzanu submitted a disturbing letter to the court where he called homosexuals a disgrace and the feeling of taking a life euphoric. But what could have motivated his troubling statements? You know what he said? There's a lot of ways to interpret it. Is he, is he, is he puffing? Is, is it true? I, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, he has his motivations and he feels that that's a step that he needed to take to accomplish his goals. Avenue seems to want to be sent to death row. Of course, the judge has a lot to consider before making her final decision. The hearing is scheduled for August 27th. Reporting live in Wilton Manors, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.